I'm Tom Felton, and I'm going to be showing you around the fantastic new Harry Potter video game. Now sure, I could sit here and tell you about how they made the game, but that wouldn't be suitably magical. It would be much better if I could show you the game, wouldn't it? Well, fortunately, as this is Harry Potter, we can use a bit of movie magic to make it happen. Hmm. Right, well here I am. Certainly looks like Hogwarts. Hang on, that looks like me. Now how do they do that? It's a new year at Hogwarts, and that means a new set of challenges for Harry. What so what's in store for Harry and friends in his sixth year? Our guests are here! Well, there's a new professor. Excellent! You have the makings of a master potion maker. I'll make the shrinking solution for you. OK, thanks. A new love interest. Hello, Harry. And dark forces threatening the safety of Hogwarts. And just who is this half-blood prince? I've never heard of him. You should turn that book in. Don't be mental. It's brilliant. All of the key plot points people will enjoy when they go to see the film are in the game as well. I asked you to get to know Professor Slughorn. Now I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory. That memory is everything. There's just so much that happens. I think what's so nice about it is that it's, it's really balanced. There's so much action and there's so much kind of humour as well within the game. Do you think Romelda would like flowers or chocolates? Ah, oh, Romelda. That's why I like my one one so much. You've got to get rid of her, Harry. I thought you were going out with her. Yeah, I am. I think you could introduce me to your friend Granger. Wouldn't mind uh, getting to know her on a first name basis. Know what I mean? There's kind of all of these dueling matches between different characters. I think it would be pretty amazing to kind of play in a game. We need you, Harry. Dumbledore's restarted the dueling club, and we don't want Slytherin to beat us. The thing I like about the games is, you know, it gives me a chance to feel like I'm really performing the spells when you have a reaction from the screen. Now we're going to use Stupefy on you! You really don't want to fight me tonight. It's really starting to take on that he is going to, at one point, meet Voldemort. It's very fast-paced and a uh, great battle, which is, I think, pretty exciting for the fans. It's clear that the only way Harry is going to survive this year is with your help. The auras have reopened all the grounds. That should be the quickest way there. Come on, then. Let's have a peek at Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince video game and see what you'll be up to. Players now have the ability to roam around the Hogwarts grounds and explore the castle. The only way that you can fully understand Hogwarts is by playing the video game. We've used the books and the film to connect the dots and to make those journeys across the castle. Wandering around the castle is just so amazing, being able to see all of the rooms, all the corridors. It's actually quite interesting and quite fun to be able to walk around Hogwarts as it really would have been in J.K. Rowling's imagination. It's probably the most complete castle we've built yet. Your journey through the game will have you playing as a seeker on the Gryffindor Quidditch team. Battling rivals in wizard duels. And mixing up a batch of potions using the Half-Blood Prince's potions book. And that's just scratching the surface. We've got many more surprises up our sleeves. I think there's so much within the Half-Blood Prince that every, every moment within it will be so much fun to play on the game. It just seems a lot more exciting and closer to the film than we have been before. It really does give you a full experience of the Harry Potter world.